Hey guys, welcome back. This week I wanted to share with you a summer salad that I do a lot when spring and summer comes. It's based on a pantanella salad. This is a Tuscan salad made with tomatoes, stale bread and onions. But I wanted to give it my own personal touch and pump it up a bit. And I'm also swapping the bread for something called Venezuelan bollitos, which is a vegan gluten-free option. If you love to, to learn how to make Venezuelan bollitos, leave your comment below and I'd love to make this video for you. Otherwise, you can, you can use stale bread like the original Pantanera salad. Anyway guys, I hope you really like this video and if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, activate the bell so you get notified every time I make a new video and I'll see you uh, next time with a new video. Bye! So the first thing that we need to do is chop the tomatoes. I like to use uh, vine tomatoes for this recipe, so I'm cutting it in about four to six pieces each. Once the tomatoes are chopped, then it's basically an assembled job. So I'm adding here the chopped onions and the black beans. If you don't like to use black beans, you can also swap it for uh, black olives as well. And at this point, I'm adding as well the Venezuelan bollitos. Now, if you don't know how to make Venezuelan bollitos, leave a comment below and I would more be more than happy to, to make the video on. But the original Pantanella recipe um, had uh, bread, so you can use stale bread and, instead of the Venezuelan bollitos. I just wanted to give it a, a Venezuelan touch and also a gluten-free touch. So once that, uh, chop the uh, avocado. I like to chop it in small pieces and add it onto the salad. So after adding the avocado, I like to add the herbs. Uh, in this case, I'm using parsley and coriander. You can use only parsley or just coriander. The original Pantanella salad uh, comes with basil. And I'm adding the basil sort of using a homemade pesto. Uh, that I, I love to do and um, you'll find the link on how to do the pesto down in the description below. So at this point that I've added the coriander and parsley, then I add the homemade paste uh, pesto that I did. It's just a normal basil uh, pesto um, and I think that gives it a little bit more flavor, more intense flavor because the pesto obviously has a cheese and it has a olive oil the garlic so if you don't like to add the pesto or maybe it's a lot of work you can add the basil leaves as well it's still very very delicious adding the pesto mix though will make a thicker salad so it will it will make the salad well for once greener it also will make it um, thicker as well but it's it's very delicious then season with salt and black pepper to taste. And I also like to add a sort of lemon juice. In this case, I'm using just half a lemon. You can use half a lime or an entire lemon on an entire lime. It depends how juicy the fruit is at that time. Now it's just a matter of mixing everything well. Uh, I'm adding extra virgin olive oil. This is also to taste. And just mix well until all the ingredients are fully combined. Now 
And this is what I meant when I said that it adding the, the basil paste, the pesto, would make a thicker salad and also a greener salad because obviously you have that paste, intense uh, flavor paste, so it will make it sort of thicker and greener. So after that, it's just a matter of plating up. I like to put it in a presentation sort of platter for everyone to take a little bit and serve themselves, but you can also put it in individual portions as well. Once it's done, I like to add a little bit of a few le leaves of basil just to show what the um, salad has and I think it looks very pretty as well. And this is it. This is my tomato and pesto summer salad. I really hope you like it and enjoy it. And I'll leave all the ingredient lists in the description below as well as the links.